Hey everyone, good morning. I am enjoying <laughs> the peace and quiet here. I think it's like 9.30 in the morning. I slept till about eight. I would have liked to have slept longer, but my body was like, you need to get up. But I did lay in bed for a little bit until I started to get hungry. Made myself some breakfast, obviously. I should have gotten hot sauce. I love breakfast burritos. I bought the microwavable seasoned potatoes because I didn't think there were seasonings here to make my own breakfast potatoes. I didn't. I forgot to look like around before I went grocery shopping last night when I arrived, but they have a whole spice rack. But these are actually pretty good. I've never had them before and it was simple. They taste really well. I just mixed the seasonings and the potatoes with butter. I'm gonna go for a little hike, look around because it was dark when I arrived. It was like five o'clock, but it was pitch black when I arrived here. So I couldn't really see anything. So after I eat, I'm gonna clean up a little bit, go for a walk, and then I'm gonna come back and show you guys a tour of the Airbnb that I'm at. Yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy my time. I need a shower. Um, I literally just like, I, I rolled out of bed, so I haven't done anything. I haven't brushed my hair, I haven't brushed my teeth. I haven't cleaned myself, I haven't changed my clothes, yeah. I'm feeling a little dirty, but I'll probably shower after my hike, but I will brush my hair and brush my teeth and stuff right after breakfast. Obviously I'm by myself. So I didn't like that I arrived in a mountain in the woods at night. I really couldn't see much. I did bring some protection. I made sure it was ready to go. <laughs> when I stepped out the car because the front porch, I can't figure out how to keep the front porch light on. And they want you to park like, I'll show you when I do the tour, um, before the first boulder. So like the car is kind of far from the cabin. There's water here. When I first got out of the car, I could hear noises and I thought somebody was like, or something because I mean, there's animals here, I'm sure. So I was like, something's coming at me or like trying to sneak up on me. When I got out of the car and I was hearing stuff, I was like, don't play with me. Don't play with me. But then I realized after a while that it was the water <laughs> that I was hearing. But I literally, I sprinted to the cabin and then I couldn't unlock it. I was like, this is how I die. I'm a leather face or something was coming at me. I couldn't get the keypad to turn on because it's a touch pad to get in. And I was like, this is it. Like, this is my time. But I figured it out. I went grocery shopping. I kind of checked in here. Again, stayed protected because I, I just don't know the area and I'm alone. When I got back, I pulled up my truck all the way to the door pretty much. Cause I was like, I'm not unloading groceries and my suitcase 600 yards away from the home. Like I'm not doing it in the dark because the light, I couldn't get the light to stay on. So I couldn't see anything. I was like, I'm not doing that. I know better. I pulled up right up to the door, unloaded everything with speed and you know, strap. And then I took the car back to where I was. I took a deep breath. I sprinted back to the door. <laughs> I opened it correctly this time. For like the first 15 minutes, I was like, okay, maybe I made a mistake. Maybe this wasn't like the best thing to do alone. Maybe I should have went to like a very populated area, hotel with security and stuff like that. I was, I was really questioning myself, but once I kind of got like settled in, I was like, this is perfect. This is exactly where I'm meant to be. I'm in my element here. Like, this is what I love. I love cold weather. I love cabins. I love mountains. I love nature, hiking outdoors, things like that. So I was like, no, this was right. In the beginning I was, very i was really questioning myself but after i was like yeah this is perfect i'm gonna get off and finish eating in peace because like i said i'm enjoying the quiet it's not this quiet at home so i want to just kind of take it in and then i'll see you guys in a minute
I'm staying. What it looks like, a little tour. This is the driveway. It's so cold here, but I love it. That's like my ideal weather. So I'll show you guys the outside first. It's the front area, so pretty, very peaceful. I'm gonna come out here, sit and read here in a minute after I get myself cleaned up. A fire pit, which I don't have a starter log. I forgot to get one at the grocery store. So maybe I'll do that today. And then here's the water. And it's starting to thaw a little bit, it looks like. But it was frozen over this morning. I think that's what I was hearing last night when I arrived, was the water freezing. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell or see the ice on top. And then from down here, that's the view of the cabin. And then it kind of goes all the way. There's another cabin right there. So at night, I couldn't really tell, but there's actually quite a few people here, which makes me a little bit more comfortable. I just kind of walked around the area a little bit. I think I'm going to try to find an actual hiking trail or walking trail to go through later. But here is the A-frame cabin. So this is the boulder. My car's back there. I'm trying to cover up the lights. <laughs> so you're supposed to park before that. Now it doesn't seem like a lot because it's daytime, but imagine that distance and it's pitch black, okay? The lights were not on. <laughs> so <laughs> I was like hightailing it. I hit that little red thing because I literally could not see. On the front porch here, there's seating, eating area. Isn't the front door so pretty? They do have Christmas lights on, but they're tiny, so they're not that bright. Like you can see them at night, but it doesn't illuminate anything <laughs> in this area. Front door. Here's just a little sofa, a heater, because it does get quite cold. There is the TV. I have the fireplace in here going. Isn't this set up so freaking cute at night with all like the Christmas lights that they have going on in the cabin? It's so freaking pretty. I have games and puzzles and stuff, which I love games, but I'm obviously here by myself. <laughs> so I might do one of the puzzles though. But here is the fireplace living room area. Then here is the kitchen. Obviously I cooked this morning and I cooked last night, so I did the dishes. I left some strawberries out to snack on. It's cute. So yeah, they have whole spices and they have extra to like refill them. Stocked with everything. This place actually has a great stash of like cooking items. This has probably been one of the best stocked Airbnbs I've ever been in. Then there's the fridge microwave and then there's another door out here which is what i was looking at this morning to see if i could see any deer while i ate breakfast but there's a grill and some more seating and then in here is a bathroom a full bathroom they have like bath salts and um all the stuff that you need or whatever and then we'll go up here first so i was thinking that i would sleep upstairs in my head, I'm like, what would be the safer option being alone? I was thinking upstairs because then I could hear and see everything. But the staircase is so narrow and there's no bathroom up here. And obviously I'm pregnant. So I have to pee several times in the middle of the night. <laughs> so I did not sleep up here last night, but it's cute. Again, with the lights, they have curtains to close for like privacy and stuff but it's got a cute little view outside. The beds are really, really nice, like comfortability wise. I love the view from up here on the bed. It is so freaking gorgeous. So I would have, yeah, I would have loved to sleep out here, but I just, I just can't do those stairs. I think I went to the bathroom three times last night. <laughs> you see how narrow these stairs are? I got hot up here, so I threw my stuff down, but yeah, and me being like half asleep, I'd probably just slip and fall. Definitely wouldn't recommend these drinking. 
But this is where I slept last night. There's another heater going. The bed, again, super nice. Really comfortable. Beautiful views from both windows. They have a bunch of books here. Here is the washer and dryer. That was covered by a curtain, but last night I couldn't help but think I would wake up in the middle of the night and wonder what's behind the curtain, so I opened it. <laughs> so I wouldn't have to be like that. And then here's the closet space, which I probably won't use. I think I'm just gonna keep everything in the suitcase. And then more books, cleaning stuff, laundry supplies, cute little dresser. Um, I'm covering something that I kept there so I don't get flagged. I don't know if that's like appropriate to show. And then here's another bathroom, fully stocked. I think I'm gonna take a bath tonight. And yeah, it's just, it's simple. Everything is really simple, but so cute. And like, it's just, I'm at peace. Like it's, it's not overwhelming. It's just the right amount of everything. Now that I'm done here, like I said, I'm gonna look for another hiking trail an actual hiking trail anyway, not just the neighborhood, but like actual hiking trail. And then I'm gonna shower, clean myself up. And then I think I'm gonna read outside for just a little bit, make lunch, and then I'll go actual hiking. So yeah, let's get cleaned up y'all. some time reading now I got this book called priest it is spicy your girl brought a smut book for her solo trip of course like why would I read anything else so yeah really excited to dive into this gonna get myself some more water and I'm gonna ghost it out and hopefully something crazy happens like in the first thing content warnings are quite intense let's see Oh yeah, 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 I'm, yeah, this is, yeah, <laughs> okay, I'm really excited. Let me get some water, because my mouth is already, I'm starting to dry up a little bit. I'm starting to be like, not breathe, because I'm, I'm like, it's been a while since I've read a smut book, and I definitely probably should have brought a second book, just in case, but I'll try to read this slowly so that it lasts the trip. I'm debating if I bought enough water. I bought two jugs, but I think I'm gonna have to go buy two more. I used to hate putting earrings on, and so I never really wore them. But now I just feel kind of like put together when I put some on, regardless of like what I'm wearing or where I'm going. A little gold hoop just kind of sets the tone. I had to take a power nap just a second ago because 
I'm out of breath. <laughs> I'm like, one, I think it's the elevation, but also being pregnant, like everything just kind of tires me out. And then when I add my like excitement on top of it, I just, I have to take naps. Quick little 30 minute power naps. This book is crazy. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna make lunch now. I'm just gonna make a salad. I've been really craving salads this pregnancy. I'm definitely gonna have like three of these. These bowls are not big enough. <laughs> but I prefer eating salad out of a bowl than a plate, so. up some great tomatoes I washed my hands don't worry but even if I didn't I'm the one eating my food so if I want the outdoor nature on my food then I guess that's what I want but don't worry I wash my hands. Actually, that's plenty for that one bowl. I'll just cut up more strawberries on the side. I was thinking about putting them in my salad, but I don't really want dressing and stuff on my strawberries. Be the most simplest salad ever. I've got some sunflower seeds because for some reason, I've really been loving sunflower seeds in my salad. Oh my gosh, you know what I forgot to get at the store? I was going to say my favorite things in a salad lately have been cucumber and sunflower seeds, and I forgot them. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, well, this isn't the normal salad I've been making, but it is what it is. Maybe I'll have leftover... I didn't quite finish my breakfast this morning. I have like a quarter of my breakfast burrito left. So I'll, maybe I'll just have some of that. <clears throat> also, while I eat, I'm gonna work a little bit. So I announced the other day on my YouTube that I've started my own kind of like, good Lord started my own little Etsy shop. I'm creating digital templates. So here's one of the grocery shop templates that I made, but, um, and it comes with like a weekly meal planner, but I'm gonna work on creating a new template right now so that I can upload it to Etsy. Yeah, I'm just gonna eat, work a little bit, and then I'm gonna go on my hike. Okay, well, I think I'm gonna end the video here just so I can eat and I want to enjoy my hike and stuff unplugged a little bit. I will be filming while I'm here a shower routine, a kind of self-care pamper routine, I think. And so I will film a little bit more while I'm here, but I also want to also want to take the time and enjoy it. So I hope you all enjoyed this kind of like relaxing vlog and tour and stuff of where I'm staying to enjoy some me time. I love you all so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.